Hi guys, uh, welcome back, another episode. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks since my uh, last video, so I hope everyone is uh, really good. Um, this week, another lucky by chance video. Um, we look at the one option of future of transport. Um, Milton Keynes, autonomous, uh, small buses, vehicles, uh, whatever you want to call it, um, at the EV Experience Center. So I'm gonna have a take a look around I'll show you around the vehicle, trying to find out a bit more information about it, and um, hopefully that's some of some interest. Okay, keep it here. <laughs> nope, not talking about that one. Uh, so, so you can see from behind me is the autonomous pod. I'll be up and down Milton Keynes at some point next year after year-long trials. So um, we can have a quick look around. Here it is, the Origo, Origo pod, um, fully autonomous, called by an app. And it's going to take a little walk around. Looks like solar charging on the top. take a, a little look inside at the moment very very basic inside but it's quite light just because it's a test unit so um, not a great deal to see um, you don't want people having too many buttons to play with while they're uh, one of these things So we've just been in to see the uh, autonomous uh, pod in Milton Keynes EV Centre. Again, uh, shout out to the EV Centre, they're fantastic. If you get an opportunity, please go and uh, visit them for a test drive and uh, learn everything about EVs. Obviously, subscribe to this channel as well and you can do that as well. Um, I picked up one of these leaflets um, about the autonomous uh, uh, systems and driving. Um, so at the moment, overall, Looks really impressive. Um, there's not much to see, unfortunately. It's very much a, a shell with a lot of it encased in. Uh, the interior, I'll imagine, will change to make it a bit more comfortable uh, in the final version. These have been trialled since about February, March time, I believe, this year, uh, due to going to service next year around Milton Keynes with uh, specified uh, routes. You'll be able to call it on an app uh, to a designated uh, place uh, and obviously go to your continued journey. I would assume uh, payment via the app as well, which would make it nice and easy. Um, overall, looks looks pretty good. It looks like one of the uh, potential future um, urban transport systems for uh, for inner cities, especially. Um, I would suggest these are things like uh, in Milton Keynes, there'll be like Coachworks and and the the places where you. Um, go and drop your car off and then come into town rather than a bus you'd maybe get one of these and obviously look to uh, look to, look to journey into the city center um, these these things look look great they look the future um, it's, it's not going to replace cars it's complement them it's complement them and take take cars uh, rightly so out of city centers unless they're, they're green so hopefully it'll encourage more people to drop their cars off um, at um, outside the city centres and driving uh, using these uh, methods of, uh, of transport. Um, 
the uh, the kit looks like it has um, lidars located around the um, around the pod, 360 degrees. So obviously the pod can see its surroundings for safety. Make sure that um, there's a, a warning. It's got a top speed of 15 miles an hour, so it's not massively quick, but it doesn't need to be. Um, that obviously reduces the risk to people. Um, I haven't seen the details yet, but I'd imagine lots of lots of safety uh, features uh, for. Um, those good old pedestrians that love walking in in front of silent cars now, so that you have to be careful of. Um, all in all, I think it looks it looks great. Um, it looks like one of the futures. Um, I hope that uh, I'm saying it right, Origo, uh, for the for the manufacturer of these. Um, I will put the details in terms of website and obviously EV centres um, details in the. Uh, the sections below so you can see those i'll try and put a few more specs on uh, the video as well lots of pictures bit of uh, video footage um and um yeah it, all in all great to see more innovation like this from milton Keynes. um with their charging hub coming online soon and obviously this coming in the next year i can really see milton Keynes, um you know picking up the pace with all their uh, ev charging and their general uh, uh, looks to the future for uh, for driving in general around Milton Keynes. So, well done, Milton Keynes. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that video. Um, it's a bit of a short one this week, but I just wanted to uh, give the video and give the insight of this um, once it's obviously, um, it's been here. So um, it's only gonna be here till Sunday. If you get a chance and you're you're watching this um, before the weekend, then, you know, worth going around and checking it out. And like I said, check out the EV center to make sure that, you know, you check out anything to do with electric cars and how best they work for you. Anyway, take it easy and I'll speak to you soon.